All right, we need a good roll. Well, that doesn't appear that great. A couple of threats detected. We can use these for stasis beams. We didn't get any health, so we're still stuck without engineers if we have any. But I can fire off three damage worth of laser. Knock this scout right out of there. That takes care of him. And I'll put a stasis beam on the hijackers, so I don't have to worry about that. I'm getting pretty low here. And it's the shield platform. Protects ex external threats, so I have to take this shield out before I can do damage to any of the other external threats. And there's the one that will take the meteoroid down and we're one away from that thing doing five damage to the hull which is semi safe right now but I'd like to have my hull repaired but I gotta free my my engineers before I can do so Need some medical. We got another threat detected. And it's a fighter. We're accustomed to seeing that one. We've seen it before. I cannot. Okay. I'm going to take the commander, turn this into a medical take care of the panel explosion that way I can repair my hull in the future fire off a laser which I have to hit the shield platform because it's protecting the external threats see what my next external threat is and it's time warp if I roll a 2 all threats recover 1 health that's not good. And it's a four, which is the fighter and the hijackers for a total of three. Knocking the shields all the way down to one. Let's get the crew together. Got to get this ship repaired because our meteoroid is only one step away from dealing us five. Got a couple of tactical. We got some engineers, good. We can't deal with the time warp. We can take care of that. If I fire two lasers, that's going to give me three. Two of them can go to the to the shield platform and then one to the fighter that'll take care of that thing and that'll be three we only had two so that'll take us back up to eight and we have a pandemic on board Send a unit to the infirmary if we roll a one. And we can take care of that with science or health or medical. A well, three or a six would be good. A three. Three doesn't line up with anything. That will work. Gather our crew back up. Maybe we can get some science here and get those shields. Let's see how we do here. That's not too bad. Definitely charge those shields back up. Now would be the time to roll a one with everything healed up. We'll use this science to take care of the pandemic because it can be science or medical. And then we can take care of that with a medical. And I think 
I think I'll go ahead, use my commander, get a laser, shoot the meteoroid, and go ahead and take the five damage now before the big ship shows up. That'll take us down and give us a little bit of time to heal the damage. Now we have a mercenary. If no threats are activated this round, minus two to the hull. Well, I'm gonna lose two no matter what it looks like. The hijackers are activated, which is a hit of two. We do want to take care of what's here because we're only a few cards away from the Ouroboros showing up. Well, this might be our chance. And we got the things we need to repair the ship at the same time. So that worked out quite well. So we can recharge our shields back up to four. Heal three from the engineering. Fix that hull back up. So we're all fixed up there. We can do three with our lasers. Take that mercenary out. Can't do anything with the commander. Grab another threat and it's a Corsair. That does two hull damage. And we got a four. So that's going to be four total. We'll wipe our shields back out. It's a good thing we have those shields. And it looks like we only have one card left. A couple of threats. Let's get those shields recharged. I could shoot at so that's one shot at the laser. Let's take the Corsair down one. We don't have to heal anything. So I will turn this into a tactical. Do one there and one there. And see what our last card is a strike bomber. Minus one, send a unit to the infirmary. Let's see, we would take a one, a three, or a six. Those will be our safe numbers. And a two is not safe. Minus one to the hull. Send a unit to the infirmary. All threats recover one health. This is at full health, but the hijackers heal. And we have somebody in the infirmary now. I made the mistake of grabbing these off my player board. So let's just roll the three crew that we would have had. We can heal one of those. That's not going to do us any good in engineering. We can recharge our shields. Let's put one up here. That way we're one away from getting that time warp out of here. Repairing is not going to do anything. Hmm. Let me get this out of the infirmary. And I don't have anything I can do with him. We have no threat cards left, which means the Ouroboros is going to show up. And it is represented by these six cards. So we'll put them all into play. First we'll start with the missile array. It does three to the hull and ignores shields. Hydro cannons do two to the hull. 
We have an attack matrix. When active, roll the threat dice two times. So we have to roll the threat dice twice. Another set of Hydra Cannons. The Core. Anytime it activates, it regains a health back up to four. And then we have a barrier that protects the core. A five recharges the barrier. Even if we destroy and it's off, off the board, if you roll the five, it comes right back into play. Let me adjust the camera. Bringing the Ouroboros in at the end of the game is completely optional. It's not something that's required. You can win the game as long as you have at least one hull point left. The threat deck is empty like it is, and then all external threats are destroyed. Now, I didn't even have to bring it in, but I wanted to show it to you so you can see what it is as part of the game. I didn't want to leave it out. And it's very difficult to beat, too. So, with that said, let's see what happens to us here. And we rolled a four. The hijackers are still around, so they're going to do two damage. The missile array ignores shields, so it will do three. The strike bomber will do one and it sends someone to the infirmary and the four does not do anything else but the attack matrix is here and while it's active we have to roll the threat dice two times and we get a two all threats recover a health because of the time warp but they're all at maximum health the strike bomber will hit us again sending another unit to the infirmary. The Hydra Cannons will hit us for two. And I don't think anything else activates. Now those are the only ones that have twos on them, including the Time Warp. As you can see, we're down to two hull already in just one round. And I have one hull crew die to roll. i got two that are tied up there. One on the time warp, which I'm going to... I think I can take those off. And that is correct. You can recover them during the gather crew section of the, of the round. But I got nothing else but two crew. And it's an engineer. And science. So I can recharge my shields. I can heal one. It's not going to do much for me. When the threat deck's empty, I believe I do one damage to myself. Nope, I'm wrong. If there's no new cards to draw, then you just skip the step. You only do damage if you get three of these and there's not any to draw, then we do one damage. But Odds are this is going to be the end unless we get really, really lucky because the attack matrix is going to make us roll it twice. Got a five. Hijackers will hit the hole for two. This protects the core. Recharge the barrier. Return to play if destroyed. It's already charged. And that's it. Maybe we'll get lucky and roll another five. And we rolled a six and I think that'll kill us off. The missile array ignores shields, one, two, three, and that takes our hull down to zero and wipes us out. The core would have healed, the hydra cannons would have been absorbed by the shield, but the other set of hydra cannons, so we were easily taken care of. And you can see if you're not fully healed, and I was pretty close to it, and you're not hitting some good rolls. I had bad luck because I had two crew members locked up here also and then people in the infirmary. You really have to quickly take out this attack matrix so you don't have to roll that twice. Then you got to start going after the missile array because it ignores shields. Work your way into the rest of the, like take out the hydra cannons and then you can go for the core 
and then the barrier. The barrier first because it protects the core, but if you can get the weaponry out of the way pretty quick, you have a chance, but I didn't have the dice and I wasn't able to. Now that we've seen the Ouroboros show up and just annihilate me, I've reset the game back to the point we were at right before it showed up. We've already assigned the crew and then we went to draw for the new threat and we didn't have any and it showed up. But in this case we would not draw any and you just skip the step when the deck is empty. Now I just wanted to see and show you what would happen in a normal playthrough if that thing didn't show up and just annihilate you. Because it is optional, you don't have to add it. Then we would go into the threat phase and roll a 1, which doesn't apply to anything here. And then we would gather the crew, which I only have three of unless I wanted to take one off of this time warp. And I think I will. What I have to do is eliminate all of the external threats. If I do that, I'm successful as long as my hull is not at zero and I'll win the game. So we'll roll our crew members. What are we going to do with these guys? Well, I have two, so we'll take care of the time warp. That way these things can't heal once we start attacking them. And I'll use the commander to turn this into healing, into medical, so we can get one of our crew back. No threat to draw. Go right into the threat phase. Roll a two. It's going to do one damage to the, to the hull, but that would be the shield, and it's going to send a unit to the infirmary, unfortunately. Get our crew together. We need to get some some tactical. There's one. We got plenty of healing now. So we'll spend one tactical to do one damage. I will spend or send one to the infirmary using its special ability to change one of these to a tactical, to do two more, one to the strike bomber, one to the hijackers, and then send one to the medical area so I can get my crew members out of the infirmary. Nothing to draw. The new threat, six, doesn't match anything. We only have to get rid of these hijackers and we will be successful. Need some tactical. There's one. And I think we'll be able to take it out right here. So we'll fire the lasers for one. Send one of these to the infirmary to turn this into tactical for two more damage. That's enough to take care of the hijackers. And the winning condition in the book. To win, you must satisfy three conditions. Have at least one hull point. We do. The threat deck is empty. It is. And all external threats are destroyed. They are. That was a pretty good game. Except for the Ouroboros showing up and slapping me like crazy. But, again, I just wanted to show you what it was like. Show you how devastating that thing is. It's up to you if you want to take it on as an extra challenge. I don't think it's a bad idea to try every now and then, but every time I've tried it, I've got nowhere close to taking it out. That could just be bad luck on my part, but the regular game without it, we had a really nice successful run through. We managed to take care of everything. I still even have my rescues here. I didn't even use them during the game. I hope you enjoyed the playthrough. I will do another playthrough with a different ship. That way you can see how the tactics change 
completely with one of the other ships from the game. It works completely different. You have to change your entire mindset and, and your approach to the situation. So I'll, I'll get that playthrough done and filmed and up sometime soon. But this has been one complete playthrough of Deep Space D6 on medium. And I even showed you how easy it is to get destroyed by the Ouroboros. But without that, we had a successful playthrough and managed to meet all three of the winning end conditions. Thank you for watching. Please take a moment to click on these links and consider supporting the channel through Patreon. If you'd like to make a one-time donation, the link to my GoFundMe page for equipment upgrades is in the video description below. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, comment, and check out the other videos on the channel. Your support is appreciated, and I'll see you in my next video.